Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sajanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the post correspondence problem. Okay. So, what is the meaning of post correspondence problem? See, this is called as the post correspondence problem. In short, this uh, post correspondence problem is called as PCP problem. In short, it is called as PCP problem. Okay. So, say uh, PCP or post correspondence problem is undecidable problem. PCP is a undecidable problem because there is no algorithm because there is no algorithm to means uh, there is no algorithm exists to find the solution to find the solution of PCP problem. So that's why this problem means PCP problem is completely undecidable. Okay. So PCP problem or post correspondence problem is undecidable is an undecidable problem because there is no algorithm exists to find the solution of pcp okay or post correspondence problem so what is the meaning of post correspondence problem say these are uh, some examples these are some examples of pcp okay now we'll see see uh, there are two lists are given there are two lists are given list a and list b then there are two lists are given list a and list b here in the first case list a contains list a contains uh, three strings list a contains three strings this is first string this is second string this is third string okay similarly list b contains three strings first string second string and third string so what is the meaning of PCP or post correspondence problem? Generally, there are two lists are given, list A and list B. Both lists contains three strings or three elements. Means here the question is here, for which sequence, for which sequence of both lists, the strings are, the generated strings are equal or generates, the generated elements are equal. For example, means for which sequence, for which sequence means suppose example, suppose one sequence is here one three, one sequence here, let we are taking one sequence, let it is S1, we have just taken randomly, we just, uh, we just take here randomly a sequence like a sequence S1 is one three. For one three sequence, for one three sequence, now we'll see, uh, this is for list A, list A, one, three sequence, I'm just taking here. First sequence, first sequence means this is one, means for one. And third sequence, third sequence is here, one, ten. Okay. So the final string, or uh, the final generated string from A is one, one, zero. Similarly, now I'll check for B. One, one means this one triple one, then three, three means zero, okay? So the generated sequence from list B is triple one zero and the generated string from list A is one one zero for the given sequence one three, for the given sequence one three. Now we'll check, now we'll check both generated strings from list A and list B is equal or not. Both are not equal both are not equal now similarly we'll check for uh, means randomly we'll take the sequence let i'm taking one more sequence suppose sequence s2 2 1 3 sequence 2 1 3 let i'm taking similarly i'll find for a 2 2 means this one 1 0 triple 1 then 1 1 means this one 1 3, 3 means 1, 0. Okay. The generator string for list A is this one. And similarly, I'll take from B. Okay. 2, 2 means 1, 0. 1, 1 means triple 1. Then 3, 3 means 0. Okay. So both are not equal. For, so both are not equal. For, 2, 1, for the given means sequence like 2, 1, 3, both 
means uh, both strings are not equal. Okay, now I'll take one more sequence. Suppose example S3, S3, 2113, 2113. Suppose this is A. 2, 2 means 10 one, triple 1, 10 one, triple 1, 1 means 1, then 1 means again 1, 3 means 10. Okay, then I'll take one more string B, 2 means here 10, then 1 means triple 1, then 1 means triple 1, then 0 means, or sorry, 3 means 0. See here, both strings, generated strings from list A and list B, both are equal for the given sequence like 2, 1, 1, 3. Both are equal. Okay? So both are equal, but in this case, both are not equal. Okay? So in this way, we will check the post correspondence problem. In this way, we will check. So now, we will see one more question. See, similarly, this is the second question. Similarly, this is the second question. Means for which sequence the generated strings from list A and list B both are equal. Okay. Now we'll check one more string here. Two, one, four, three. Let this is the uh, this is one uh, sequence. Two, one, four, three. Two, one, four, three. Okay. For A, two. Two means this is one, two. 3, 4. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now I'll check for A and B. 2, 2 means AB. 1, 1 means BBAB. BBAB. 4, 4 means B. 3, 3 means B double A. Okay. This is the generator string from list A. It's like this. Okay, now I'll check for B. For two, two means A triple B. A triple B. One, one means A. Four, four means triple B. Then three, three means double A. Okay, so you can check here A triple B, triple B, A, A, triple B, triple B, double A, double A. So for this sequence, two, one, four, three, both means both generated strings from list A and list B, both are equal. Okay. So now I'll check for one more question here. This one. This is uh, uh, list A and list B. List A contains one, two, three, one, two, three. We can also similarly, we can check some sequence. Let sequence is uh, two, one, three. 2, 1, 3. So here A and B. 2. 2 means BB. 1. 1 means AAB. 3. 3 means triple A. Then similarly B. For B case, 2. 2 means BBA. 1. 1 means ABA. 3. 3 means B. So both are not equal. Okay. So in this way we can check, but there is, uh, but uh, in this way we can check this uh, post correspondence problem. Okay, so means for which sequence means both list A and list B both are equal or not. Okay, in this way we can check. But one problem is here, there is no algorithm exists to solve this means or to find the solution. There is no algorithm exists. This is the one important thing. So that's why PCP is completely undecidable. Okay. So the next concept here. So the next concept, modified post correspondence problem. Modified post correspondence problem. What is the meaning of modified post correspondence problem? In short, it is called as MPCP. In short, it is called as MPCP. So what is the difference between PCP and MPCP problem? Okay, what is the difference? The main difference here, the, the difference between the PCP and MPCP, 
the difference between pcp and mpcp is what in mpcp in modified post correspondence problem in modified post correspondence problem the solution is required to start with first string the solution is required to start with first string of both list of both list so this is the main difference between pcp and mpcp see the example see the given example here pcp case pcp and mpcp for pcp case means post correspondence problem case we can start from any we can start from any string let the sequence will start from 2 1 3 1 2 3 1 like this here in the first in the first case the string starts with the second string in the second case the string starts with first string in the third case the string starts with third string means in for pcp case the string can start means uh, the solution can start from any string but in case of pcp problem means all are valid sequence in case of pcp but in mpcp suppose for example 1 to s because 1 to 1 2 3 1 3 1 2 1 i'll check in for mpcp case every solution should start with the first string in this case the solution starts with first string so it is valid in this case the solution starts with first string it is valid in this case the solution starts with first string that's why it is valid in this case the solution start with second string that's why it is invalid for mpcp problem okay so the main difference between the pcp and mpcp is that for pcp the solution can start from any string but in case of mpcp the solution can start from the first string this is the main difference between pcp and mpcp okay so next we'll see the next concept see mpcp is reducible to pcp the next concept here mpcp is reducible to pcp see mpcp problem mpcp is reducible to pcp hence if mpcp is undecidable then pcp is mpcp is undecidable then pcp is sorry undecidable hence if mpcp let it is a let it then let it is a mpcp is a and pcp is b if mpcp is undecidable then we can say pcp is undecidable okay so mpcp in this case means why because undecidable can be reduced from like this if a is undecidable then we can say b is undecidable but for decidable case if b is decidable then we can say that then a is decidable okay if a is undecidable then we can say that b is undecidable if b is decidable then we can say that a is decidable okay so that's why why the one more important point here mpcp problem is reducible to pcp problem hence if mpcp is undecidable then we can say that pcp is undecidable okay the next point here if pcp is decidable so here simple if pcp is decidable then we can say that mpcp problem is decidable it's very simple because if we have already discussed if a is undecidable then we can say that p is undecidable okay if b is decidable then we can say that a is decidable so that's why if mpcp is undecidable then we can say that pcp is undecidable but if pcp is decidable then we can say that mp is mpcp is decidable these are the main difference okay so the next concept so finally so finally both pcp and mpcp problems are completely undecidable okay 
MPCP and PCP, post correspondence problem and modified post correspondence problem both are undecidable. But but one concept is here. But PCP and MPCP are decidable if if both list contains only one element. If both list contains only one element, so we can say that both are decidable. Okay. So one more important point here, both PCP and MPCP in generally both are undecidable, but both PCP and MPCP problem, both are decidable if both list contains only one element, only sorry, one element. For example, suppose a list contains only one element. This is one B equals to one zero. Both list contains here only one element. So now I'll find PCP case and MP, MPCP case. Okay. Both are may be equal or may not equal because since both list contains only one element, here sequence is only one. Here sequence is only one. In for PCP case is also one and MPCP case is also one. Okay. For one, so A equals to what? Here one b equals to one zero so both are not equal similarly for mpcp case since both contains only one element so a equals to here one b equals to one zero okay both are also not equal so in this case both are either equal or not equal but since both since both list contains only one element since both list contains only one element so PCP and MPCP both are, means both problems are decidable, okay? So these are all about PCP and MPCP, means post correspondence problem and uh, modified post correspondence problems, okay? In the next class, we'll see about uh, some different uh, undecidability problems, okay? Thanks for watching.